Hello there, everybody. We are looking at another puzzle right now. Why to move and win this? We have two steps to promotion, and so has black. So, how are we winning this? What's the best strategy for white, you think? Pause the video now and uh, think about it for yourself. And when you return, I will show you the solution. Go ahead. All right, welcome back. So, uh, obviously, the uh, first instinct is not winning. Just uh, get the queen each. Because after this, it's not really... We don't have anything to, uh, to win by for white. We can start checking, for sure. We can force a queen exchange if we want to. But, obviously, we don't have enough mating material after that. And there's really nothing from here. I'm not going to show you all the variation, but there's no way we're going to trap this king. Because this knight is too far away, and the simple queen and the knight against the queen is not winning unless there are some other elements involved, like trapping someone in the corner or something. So, we have to do something else from here. And it doesn't help bringing our king closer, of course. Black will just promote sooner than us, and we will lose this. Instead... There's a knight here, and what do we do with that? Well, it's looked pretty, pretty useless, but of course it has one point, and that is play this to knight to c3. If black now uh, enters, uh, if he progresses with his pawn, then we have a fork, and we can simply sacrifice the knight, and then of course easy win here by uh, taking a queen. So. The right move is knight c3. It also, not only by stopping the pawn, it also gives us the chance that if black takes, which he has to do, uh, we will then promote with a check. Just let me go back and say why we have he has to take it. Because he cannot move his pawn, and if he tries something like this, uh, well, then we can play the knight to e4 and block here. And if black tries to move his king to stop this, then we can simply go down to d1 and block like that. And, of course, he can attack our knight, but we can simply sacrifice it like this. And he loses pawn. Okay. That was a quick side uh, line. So... Black is forced to take here. We go on. Uh, as I said, we want to get a queen with a check. Black will push his pawn, do whatever he can. And we will get a queen and a check. But it's not easy win just because of that. See, this pawn is on the F uh, line. And if the king managed to go all the way down here, he will protect the pawn. Or be able to put the king in the corner and uh, sacrifice his pawn for a stalemate. This is a typical uh, theory and the game uh, position. But we we have some time. We can stop the king from getting all the way down there. So now, after we check, black has two major options: uh, move the king to d2 or d3. Let's start with king to d2. From here, there's only one move that wins this for white. Can you find it? Pause the video again if you need. Okay, here it goes. Just starting to check doesn't give us anything. The king will come to e2 or e1, and as I said, we cannot stop this pawn. Instead, after he plays king d2, we have a very nice move here in queen h2, pinning this pawn. And, of course, black wants to get out of that pin and also threat to take a new queen. But now we have a very good queen position here. And we will simply allow him to promote. Black will have a beautiful move in king d4. After he promotes to a queen, we simply play king e3. And look at this. This is also a typical uh, theory endgame position. This is winning for white. 
Pack has nowhere to go with his queen if, if he doesn't want to sacrifice it. And he cannot stop the uh, checkmate here on d2 or maybe e2 if he moves the queen away. So this is winning for white. And the idea of promoting this to a knight instead is just a waste of time. It prolongs the mate a couple of moves, but I'm sure you can find out how white wins if black does that. Uh, okay, so let's go back to uh, the other possible defense here. King to d3. Actually, there's only one move for white winning this. And there's no point in uh, trying to attack the pawn like that. We don't want a king to go to e2, then it's a draw. So the winning move for white here is queen to b2. It's a very, very smart move. It attacks the pawn. And at the same time, it stops the promotion because we have the queen b5 check available if that happens. So black needs to move his king to e3, of course, since all these uh, squares are blocked also. So after queen e3, after, mean, after king e3, I mean, there is again only one move uh, available for white to win this. I think you see it. Yeah, we go to b5 anyway. And now we are protecting this pawn and the f1 square. And whatever black does from here, we will just put our queen on f1. And then this pretty simple win with the queen and the king. Of course, the pawn will never promote. Instead, we will just chase him away with our king. We got plenty of time for that. Well, that was the full study. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for watching. Give me a thumbs up, please, and come back to my channel at any time. Bye-bye.